I think I like Minikube better. What is Minikube? Well, stick around. We're going to take a look at one of the coolest, most popular ways to learn Kubernetes and see how you can actually do that in Windows 11. What's up guys? So we introduced Minikube at the very start. What is it? Why do you want to know about it? And how easy realistically is it to get up and running with Minikube? Well, if you're like me, uh, you see this tremendous shift uh, to using Kubernetes uh, in enterprise environments. Uh, it's, Kubernetes is being used uh, in many, many different use cases and it's following this trend of containerized workloads. Minikube is a solution that allows spinning up a very small, in fact, one node cluster, Kubernetes cluster, to learn, to develop, to test, to play around, to have a sandbox environment for Kubernetes and uh, testing and tweaking various things related to containers. Uh, and for my purposes, the really cool thing about Minikube is the ability to learn about Kubernetes without having to first struggle with all of the complexities of learning how to uh, install Kubernetes from scratch, which is not for the faint of heart. There are other tools out there that make that process easier, but Minikube is one of the most uh, easy ways to get your hands on Kubernetes. If you just want to uh, start learning and start understanding what it's all about, how it works, uh, what the tools and utilities are that are used to interact with Kubernetes cluster. So Minikube makes all of that super easy. Uh, it's available, as you can see here, for Linux, for Mac OS, for Windows. And today I'm going to show how to easily get Minikube installed on a Windows 11 box. So if you want to run Kubernetes on Windows 11, Minikube is a great way to do that. So the first thing that we need to do to install Minikube is to install a command line installation utility known as Chocolatey. Chocolatey allows us to have a very Linux-like uh, look and feel to being able to install software in Windows. Uh, this is pre-having WinGet and other utilities that we now have. Chocolatey has been doing that for years. So I simply have navigated to chocolatey.org and on the chocolatey.org website, on the very front page, you can uh, see on step two, choose your installation method. And one of the easiest ways on a Windows box is just to simply copy the command that they have listed uh, available to copy, open up an administrative uh, command line environment such as a Windows terminal in Windows 11 and once we are there, then we simply paste the command that is uh, listed on the chocolatey.org website. And once we do that, we'll paste the command in and it will begin to install the uh, chocolatey utility in Windows 11. Now, as you can see, uh, we have in successfully installed chocolatey. Now we can use chocolatey to install Minikube. Now that we have Chocolatey installed, the command line utility that will allow us to install Minikube, I want to discuss one other requirement that we need to have in place for Minikube. Uh, Minikube requires you to have some type of hypervisor uh, installed, and that is a platform on which you can use to run the container host that Minikube spins up. So I have simply installed Client Hyper-V on this Windows 11 uh, virtual machine. So I'm doing nested virtualization here. Um, but just to cover the bases, to show you guys, I have the Hyper-V feature uh, and management tools, of course. I have those enabled for this particular virtual machine. So once we have Hyper-V installed, of course, you're going to be prompted for a reboot and do, doing those things there. Um, we want to launch the Hyper-V Manager and we want to create an external switch. So we need to have that Hyper-V networking in place before we install Minikube or you will likely see an error. So now that I have Hyper-V Manager uh, launched, I'm simply going to navigate over to the Virtual Switch Manager. 
and we want to create a new external virtual switch that will provide external connectivity for virtual machines or anything running in the Hyper-V environment, aka Minikube. So we're going to say create virtual switch. I'm just going to name this external 01. And the defaults here are fine. We want to uh, use an external network. It's going to be bridged to our uh, local network adapter. And all the other uh, defaults here are OK. So we're just going to simply mm -hmm. click OK. Uh, we're going to get the prompt about possibly disrupting network connectivity. That's OK. We're going to say yes. And we're going to allow those changes to be applied. Now that we have those changes applied to our Hyper-V or client Hyper-V environment, we're ready to uh, install Minikube using the Chocolatey utility. So how do we use Chocolatey to install Minikube? Well, that's a simple process. In fact, just a one-liner. So we, I have opened an administrative Windows Terminal prompt uh, running PowerShell. So I'm just simply going to in, uh, type in Choco install Minikube. And as you see, the installation of Minikube progresses. So this is as difficult as it gets to get Minikube installed. And it's asking, do you want to run the script? We're going to say yes. And after we uh, enter in the yes at the prompt, we're going to see the rest of the installation process uh, progress. So as we see now, we have come to the end of that installation script. And so now we actually have Minikube installed. So let's see what we need to do to actually stand up a Kubernetes cluster using Minikube in Windows 11. Let's actually use the Minikube command line to spin up a new Kubernetes cluster running on top of the Minikube environment. To do that is a simple one-line command, Minikube start. We can actually pass in the number of CPUs that we want to uh, allocate to the use for Minikube as well as memory. And then notice also I am directing Minikube that we are using the driver Hyper-V. So once we have that, we're simply just going to uh, hit enter at the Windows Terminal command prompt. And we're going to allow Minikube to begin building our Kubernetes cluster on top of the Minikube environment. So I paused the video while the installation progressed, but just to step through that, uh, as you can see, Minikube began using the Hyper-V driver, and what that amounts to is Minikube actually provisions a Hyper-V virtual machine in the background with the uh, resource requirements and configuration that we set. Notice, uh, if you remember from the command line, two CPUs, four gigs of memory, and as we can see uh, in the Hyper-V environment, we've got a two CPU uh, four gigs of memory virtual machine. And we can uh, verify that that's the case. If we go to uh, Hyper-V Manager, we can launch that and we should see, and we do, a Minikube virtual machine that is uh, provisioned, it's running. And if we look at the configuration of that virtual machine, we see that we have two virtual processors and we have four gigs of memory. So that's where that uh, configuration comes into play. Uh, so the Hyper-V virtual machine is provisioned. Then after that, we have the Kubernetes components that are provisioned for our Kubernetes cluster. And at the very end, you notice that kubectl is now configured. So that context is set in the kubectl utility from the command line standpoint to interact with and communicate with your Minikube cluster. Now that we have the Kubernetes cluster running on top of the Minikube environment, the cool thing to see and to start doing is interacting with this Kubernetes cluster as we would any Kubernetes cluster using the kubectl uh, command line utility. So we can do things like kubectl, uh, get nodes. Uh, as we can see, we've got our Minikube node. It's a control plane uh, master uh, as well as worker uh, all in one since it's a single node cluster. Uh, we can do kubectl get uh, pods, say all, and we can see the pods that are running. We can also do the kubectl get nodes wide command, so we can see a little bit more information, uh, internal IP and uh, more detailed uh, information regarding our nodes. 
So extremely cool. Uh, just in a few steps, uh, we were able to install Chocolatey. We used a workstation that had a client Hyper-V installed, Windows 11 workstation. And then once we had Hyper-V installed, we were able to use Chocolatey and a simple one-line command to install Minikube. And then with the simple Minikube commands, we're able in just a couple of minutes to have a working Kubernetes cluster up and running. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments what do you think about Minikube? What do you think about Chocolatey, the installation process, and uh, how this process works with Windows 11? What are you guys using for learning uh, Kubernetes in your home labs or your work environments for development, for POCs, and for other use cases? I'd be really interested to know and maybe uh, highlight some of those suggestions on the channel. So please do hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys soon.